Okay, just before we start here, we're actually getting close to the most users in EVE ever, so if you have more accounts, log them on. Let's break that uh, concurrent user record uh, tonight. Uh, but uh, while you guys log all your characters on, let's see what's happening on the field. And welcome back again. We have Old Intentions versus Ushercon, and you're listening to Verone and Brianna Tempest commentating. And for Old Intentions on the field, we have something that Amar players are going to love. We have a trio of Armageddons in Abaddon, a Damnation, and a Guardian fielded. And on the Ushercon side, we have a Nighthawk, two Slepners, two Cyclones, a Basilisk, and a Raven. And we are just waiting for the one minute countdown in local from CCP Claw. Um, two interesting setups. Neither team um, fielding the entire 10 players um, in their teams. It's, uh, it's quite an interesting pair of setups. What do you make of it, Brianna? Um, this is pretty interesting. Basically, a missile speed setup versus a fully tanked Amara setup. And looking at the, looking at just the, you know, how they're uh, setting up their teams, I can't really tell if, you know, if there's going to be a team that's going to come up tops. I think it's going to depend on the fleet commanders as well. Yeah, but I'm going to agree there. You can see um, straight away um, that the three Armageddons have been brought in very close range. Uh, looks as if they're pulse fitted. We have the Abaddon off at range as a sniper along with the Damnation and the Guardian. Um, the Guardian brought in at range for its uh, logistics capabilities. We can see there straight away the Ushrakan team dropping a huge pile of Warrior 2s. The Abaddon instantly opening up onto the Basilisk of Ushrakan. And actually the Abaddon from Old Intentions actually just dropped a ton of Hornet EC jamming drones, um, presumably on the Basilisk for the Ushrakan team. Yep, the uh, Guardian there of the uh, the Old Intentions team taking a lot of fire from a big group of Warrior 2s. Um, we can see there the Basilisk taking an absolute beat um, by the Abaddon. It's, um, it's amazing how much damage these things can put out. And just as I speak, the Basilisk gets volleyed out of existence. So is the Guardian actually from Old Intentions, so this should be an interesting match. It's basically a race to see who can dish out the most DPS and it seems like one of the Armageddons from the Old Intentions team is actually starting to drop in about half armor. Yeah, both logistics ships there just pounded to death and we can see there one of the Cyclones from the uh, from the Ushrakan team taking an absolute batter and we're gonna lose him any second now um, and we also have an Armageddon uh, in low armor it's not going to cut a massive amount of the DPS out uh, they lose that Armageddon, they still have two plus the long range Abaddon Yes, as we speak, we lose that Cyclone also, Ushakan team, so it's now one Abaddon, one, uh, sorry, Abaddon, one Damnation, two Armageddons, versus a Nighthawk, a Slepner, two Cyclones, and a Raven. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting situation. We had both FCs made the right call to get rid of the logistics off the field straight away, in my opinion. Um, then we've just got two really big buffer tanks now, and, uh, well, it looks as if the Amarians, uh, the, those who've chosen the Amar field uh, actually really aren't faring too well. And see the damage output they have, another Cyclone just melting there. I'm a little surprised that the Amar team has not really chosen the Raven as one of their primary targets, because uh, in, in real life or in Tranquility, the Raven is always ridiculed for its very low tank, and it, it does do a little bit of DPS with its cruise missile launchers, but the tank is pretty mean compared to all the other ships, the, all the other battleships that the Kaldari or the Mar has. Yeah, you can see there just the, the sheer the sheer amount of damage put out by Mar battleships is absolutely immense, but what's confusing me about the uh, the Ushrakan team here is the fact that they're not exactly trying to make an effort to keep the transversal velocities up against these guys. It's, um, you know, you can see there an Armageddon just about to go down for the Old Intentions team. Down to two battleships now. One Armageddon, one Abaddon and a Damnation versus a Nighthawk, a Slepnir and a Raven. And I think the Slepnir is actually active tanking because we just saw some of its shield recharge back up. So it seems like the Abaddons are 
moving at all. So maybe, you know, if these guys are not really fitting micro warp drives or afterburners on them, they're just full tank. Yep, it looks that way. The Abaddon definitely looks as if it's very heavily tanked. Um, long range fitted appears to be a full rack of eight Tech 2 Tachyons, as far as I can see. Um, we've got an Armageddon there, straight into half armor again. Um, wow, this is um, this isn't really looking good. It's interesting to see who's going to go down. The Armageddon is in about 40% armor, and the Cyclone for the Ushakan team is about also 30% armor. Going down really, really fast. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I think which one of these ships goes down first may decide the match. Uh, well, we're going to lose the Cyclone of Ushrakan first. Um, two, well, one very heavily shield tank ship, no doubt, the um, the Nighthawk there. Um, but the Raven, I think, is just going to melt under the uh, under the power of these two of our battleships. Yeah, I think by this point, the Ushakan team is not going to have enough DPS to take down the Abaddon and the uh, uh, Damnation because as we saw in the last match, Damnation does have a very, very nasty tank and so does the Abaddon. Although I think we'll, they'll just manage to take down this Armageddon with them. Yeah, but my apologies, it's just been pointed out to me that that was indeed a Slepnia, not a Cyclone. My bad in that respect. So, we have an Abaddon and a Damnation left on the field for all intentions. And we have a Raven and a Nighthawk left on the field for Ushrakan. And Abaddon is quickly approaching its armor. We'll start to see its armor starting to go down a little bit, but not by much. I would actually expect the Raven to completely be destroyed before the Abaddon even goes into half armor. Yeah, but I think if uh, that Abaddon gets its its uh, fire focused and it actually manages to lay down the fire onto the Raven, it's going to be in serious trouble. Um, it's really surprising, actually, unless that Raven is top fitted. I'm trying to get a quick look at it now to see how it's going, but we've also got the damnation there of the um, old intentions team quite heavily target pin um, the Raven of Usher Khan. Yeah, the Raven is actually active tank and is using cruise missiles, which means it's not going to do really too much in, in in terms of DPS. Although we're starting to see that Abaddon go into about, eh, oh, you know, about half armor or so. And the Nighthawk does put out a little bit of DPS, but the Damnation itself, is, it's not really going to be able to do much to the Nighthawk. It seems like the Raven is actually doing pretty well against my expectations. Yeah, the strange thing, I'm watching this Nighthawk pilot here and he isn't actually doing a great deal. He's sort of just orbiting the, um, he's orbiting the, um, the Abaddon, probably at about 10 kilometers. Um, he's sat there, he's not actually releasing any missiles. I mean, those things, not, you know, Nighthawk can put out a fair bit of DPS if it needs to. It gets a rate of fire bonus, a bonus to uh, kinetic uh, heavy missile damage as well. So, it's interesting to see that they're not actually using it. The Raven seems to be pretty much solo taking on this Abaddon. Yeah, it seems to be that way indeed, and this Abaddon is actually going down into about 40% of percent armor, which is very surprising. The Abaddon has a very, very nasty tank if you fit it right, and you can actually get about 1,000 DPS if you fit it for gank, and still be able to tank about a amount, so... But I think this Abaddon is actually fit with, um, with beams. Yep, and there we go, the Abaddon is, uh, is firing back there. It looks as if he's changed out to close-range crystals, those will be, uh multi-frequency I should imagine. Um, wow, it's uh, it's strange to see it, uh, but this Nighthawk still isn't doing a great deal. Um, he has a big blob of drones around him now, in fact. He has Hornet EC-300s around him now, so he's definitely not going to be doing much if he's been uh, if he's been pinned down. We can see there the um, Damnation, uh, or the Abaddon rather, dipping into structure quite heavily. Yeah, it'll only be a matter of minutes before the Abaddon goes down, because, you know, you can't really structure tank anything. And it seems like the Nighthawk wasn't firing because um, of the the cloud of jamming drones that were around him. I think they both both of them know from the old intentions know that if you don't jam that Nighthawk, it's going to go down much faster for them because of the higher DPS of the Nighthawk. Yeah, initially, what what um, fears me about that was initially the guy didn't have any drones around him at all, and he was just kind of you know relaxing there like he was on vacation. The drones came along, um, and now he's unable to really do anything. Um, but yeah, I was expecting more action from the Nighthawk, to be honest. Uh, we've lost the Abaddon now, now we just have the Damnation left on the field, and I should imagine that um, he's going to probably drop pretty quickly. 
Yes, without the jamming drones to support the uh, to keep the Nighthawk from falling on him, it's only a matter of time till he goes down. But you know, as as we've seen before, damage is pretty nasty, to him, and the Nighthawk itself may not be able to break him. Yeah, I think that um, definitely the Damnation is the choice of command ship um, for this tournament. Um, I, I absolutely love it. I'm a bit biased in that respect. Um, I really like the Damnation. I like the concept of the way it boosts its gang. Um, the only other really useful command ship I see in itself for this tournament is um, is the um, the Claymore for its, uh, its speed bonuses for those who choose to speed tank their, uh, their loadouts. Speaking of speed tanking, we haven't really seen too much of a full, you know, fully fit speed tank team, except for one from IAC before, where they fielded some bonds and some typical fast ships, but they don't seem to be doing too well against two tanked and, to a secondary degree, the armor tank teams. Why do you think that this is not a very good tactic? Because as we've seen before, Pandemic Legion actually used the speed to great effect. Yeah, it's um. It's one of those things that's situational, I guess, and not a lot of people are fielding them now since the speed changes and the uh, the micro warp drive and scrambler changes. I think um, it's a little bit more risky to do so now. We can see that the Nighthawk has actually opened fire. He's using the uh, Kaldari Navy Scorch heavy missiles now. I believe uh, his damnation's probably going to drop pretty quickly. Yes, we no damage at all on the Nighthawk or the Raven. Damnation is not really known to be you know, giving out damage to other ships, it's mainly meant for a gang boosting, it's mainly as, as a gang boosting or tanking ship. And so we see a lot of its use in large fleets where you want to have, you know, for example, if you have a large armor, uh, large fleet of armor repping or armor tank ships, you want to use the damnation because it's very, very effective at giving out armor resist bonuses to those ships. And there yep. he goes. Oh, the uh, lost quite a chunk of armor there and all of his structure all in one go. Uh, wow, he went down pretty quickly. Yeah, he certainly uh -huh. did, guys. That was an interesting match uh, right there. Um, of course, uh, we will be back with the next match as soon as possible. We're just a few minutes behind schedule. Uh, great to see such a, a good slugfest. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes.